If you've been thinking about relocating to the Treasure Valley, Idaho, we have the sweetest surprise in this home for you. It checks so many of your boxes. Plenty of room for all of your toys, single level living, beautiful custom high-end finishes, an RV pad, you name it, it is in this house and I cannot wait to take you through and show you what it is all about. In addition to that, it is in one of the absolute most desirable communities in one of the most desirable suburbs. We are moments away from golfing, off-roading, hunting, fishing, hiking, and all of the shopping you could ever imagine. Let's get inside of this house because I don't wanna keep you waiting for a moment. One of the features in this home is a four car garage. We are going to do something pretty interesting, guys, so just bear with me. We're going to start this tour through the garage door, not the front door because there is something so cool over there. You cannot see it yet. Not just one super feature, not just two, but three. We're gonna enter through one of the garages first and show you this beautiful kitchen, but we're going to save those other super features for last. You might notice on the way in too, tankless water. That's instant hot water. Right now it's set at 120 degrees. That means you pop it on and you got hot water all the time. That and, is a sweet plug, deal. You forgot your, your, your uh, electric. Oh, and if you've got an electric car, go Elon. He's one of my favorite guys these days. You've got yourself a Tesla. Plug it in right here. Plug it in, plug it in. I know you guys want to see the pretty stuff, so let's not keep you waiting another moment. Come on in, Ken, into this beautiful house. Let's take them straight into the kitchen, but you cannot direct the camera that way. You've got to keep it this way because there's something over there that they cannot see yet. Okay, right off the bat, not only is this kitchen stunning and it has the double stacked cabinets all the way up to the ceiling, very high, at least 10 foot ceilings. It has bump -a, -bum, a beautiful Thermador cooktop with all the brass finishes, very pretty, very unique tile. The way I describe this home and many of the other homes in this community is this is the kind of house you would get if you were moving to the city, but it's even better because you get to experience all of this very modern craftsman uniqueness here in Star Idaho out in the country. There are horses like a minute away from here, guys. So this modern living, beautiful, and it's here in Star Idaho. I like big drawers and I cannot <laughs> lie. I know everyone, everyone's probably tired of me saying that, right? If you've seen my videos, you guys know. Big drawers, big deep drawers for all of your Dutch ovens and your pots. It is so much easier to store everything in your kitchen. These are nice, heavy duty, custom cabinets, beautiful neutral countertops, big deep island with plenty of seating. They stuck with one tone for the cabinetry and instead they went with two tones for the countertops which went over here for video guy Ken. He is the one who pointed that out to me. Look at me. Look at you. You're starting to see all the pretty stuff. Well, Ken's always seen all the pretty stuff. He's really good at the bones and the pretty stuff. That's Another I thing. My wife. You look pretty. Found the pretty stuff. <laughs> <laughs> this is a awesome sink. It is nice and deep. And when they get big points for me on this one, this is offset to the side. Ken and my husband, like division they like the divider in the sink i've mentioned this before i like unity i like one big sink okay so i am for one one big deep sink with the drain to the right let me know in the comments below are you pro rachel or pro them you know unity them. in the sinks <laughs> these are so neat they're a concrete lighting overhead very very modern but also because it's a natural element it just really is a good nod to the modern craftsman over here we've got this nice little bar area you've got your refrigerator for wines i know right some overhead storage oh, did you see that you when you opened the door what, what? No, no no the other door open the wine door look at look what? at what Look at the blue Ooh, lights. Blue lights. Sorry. That I, is very pretty. And lights make me excited. Out. I'm a simple man. 
If you give us a call, shoot us a text or write us an email to purchase this home, we'll make sure we will negotiate the beverages, okay? Ooh. In the beverage fridge. I usually like to save this kind of stuff for last, but we're gonna go over it since it is right here. They are building this really cool community park walking distance from this home. It is going to have all the soccer fields, all the baseball fields. They're expanding a pond to add an urban fishery and they got tennis courts and one, two, three, four pickleball courts. And there is a trail all the way around the perimeter for walking, plenty of parking, as if there isn't enough to do already in this location, they put in even more. Okay, I gotta show you really quickly to the right, and then I think we'll do over that way after we show them the master. We're trying our best to keep this super feature super hidden from you. Right over here, we got your Bosch oven, Bosch, 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 the Bosch, the Bosch. Bosch. Be the boss. We want to know so that we can be your voice. Would you prefer double ovens or like full double ovens? Or are you a convection oven with a double oven? Because really, realistically, for day-to-day -day life, this is a pretty sweet feature. Back in here, we've got a big, deep pantry with a lot of outlets. One, two, three, four outlets for all of your prep. All of this space below and above, there is a window to let some natural light in as well as the overhead lighting up above. They put in these nice, heavy gray doors. Very, very pretty. I like that they did the gray doors all throughout this house. Now you remember, we came in through here, it was the garage, and then right there in, in this entry, we've got your mud landing with a bench and some hooks then swing over this way and we've got the laundry room. Okay, Ken and I have a laundry room pet peeve and they passed the test in this laundry room. The bar for hanging your clothes is not above the washer and dryer because no one is short enough to have clothes tiny enough to hang directly above the washer and dryer. Instead, they put the cabinets where people my size can reach them so you can put all of your laundry soaps and what have you up above. And then right over here, you can hang plenty of counter space. And then check this out. I am so excited about how deep this is. Look, back it up, Ken, so they can see. I've got the wingspan of an eagle and my wingspan is fitting. No, a baby it's, eagle? <laughs> uh, sorry. Maybe sorry. a baby, a premature baby eagle. <laughs> <laughs> There are some really cool eagle's nests all throughout the Treasure Valley. I'll give you a little inside scoop as to where some of them are. You guys, they don't use twigs to build their nests. They use branches. It is oh, beautiful. God is so, I mean, could you even have a little of that creativity? Oh, we can't show them out this window oh, 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 Ooh, because oh, then it oh, will oh, give oh, away. Oh, oh. I almost, I almost gave it away. Well, there was they're a gonna window. get a super feature right now though. Yeah, they're gonna get it right now. Bum, ba, da, bum. I think we have to give it to them. You guys, look at this fireplace. Fully oh. wrapped mantle all the way around. This is typically a very high-end upgrade. You'll normally get a smaller mantle, uh, or if it does wrap around, it's not quite as extravagant as this. Then they put shiplap all the way up and this natural stone right here. You can't see behind the painting, but they do have your outlets and everything hardwired in and ready to go for your television. That way you don't have any cords hanging down. I think a frame TV would be beautiful right here. I have a frame TV, but my husband attached a big speaker to it. And so it now no longer serves the purpose and he won't let me take the speaker off of it. Wow, just wow. For those of you who don't know what a frame TV is, it's a great gift for your wife. If you buy this house, it lays flush, it is matte, and when it is turned off, you can put, you can turn it into art. It even looks framed. It is so beautiful. Ceiling fan, I'm so pro ceiling fan. This is a new move that I just invented. It's yeah. a ceiling fan. Oh, the ceiling fan down. Yeah. Okay. So here we have four pretty mild seasons other than I would say the summer, which a lot of people don't know. The summer is actually the harshest season here in the Treasure Valley, Idaho. We are high desert, so it gets stinking hot. But in the spring and fall, you can turn off your heat. You can turn off your AC, turn your fan on. 
and save some money on here. Do, so And do the ceiling fan dance. Do the ceiling fan dance and save yourself some money. Look at all the lights or all the windows letting in the natural light. Very, very pretty. And then as we go this way, you'll see they put in this really cool light fixture in the dining room. Big dining room with lots of room for guests and entertaining. They did the two-toned, look at this. The baseboards are gray, the same color as the door. And as this wrap for the window, I think that is a really pretty feature. And then they got the black windows. Everyone's loving the black windows these days. I really like them. Ken, what's your opinion? I like them. I like the black. They also have three big windows back here. Natural light is a really big deal. I think one thing is we have skies for days here in the Treasure Valley, Idaho. You have to come here to see exactly what I mean because I don't know that the camera captures it, but you wanna be able to see these big skies. In addition to that, because of our four seasons in the winter, it can get a little dark and gloomy along with your mood. So lots of windows are really important here to kind of help keep you, keep your spirits up, especially in the Christmas season, you know? Great. Okay. Nice slider, has the screen door, which you need here. Another opportunity to open up the windows, close the screen, turn on the fan, let in all of the natural air. Big covered patio with lights and another ceiling fan, <laughs> another ceiling fan. So this yard is super cool. Ken, should we show them the RV pad right now? No way. No way. They oh. don't get to see that just yet. Dang. That's because that's actually my favorite. Oh, you I You always get your favorites oh. at the last. This is oh. my favorite. But occasionally, I want to talk about me. And Coming in hot, Ken. Sorry, it's just Ken. my favorite. I want this house. Okay. So somebody's going to, be they better call before I call you. Because <laughs> I really Ken want this call house. call and buy this house. Ken, Ken doesn't usually say I want this house, but he did say he wants this house. I do so bad. This is, oh, I love it. We see a lot of houses. Yeah. A lot. Okay, pop the camera up so they get the opportunity to see the grand entry. Very, very high ceilings. Again, a big window so that all this natural light can be flooded in. A very pretty milk glass door. This door is heavy duty and you can feel literally zero cold air coming off of it. Another really big deal here in the Treasure Valley, Idaho. The doors matter and not everyone goes with good doors. Let's take you down this way. So to kind of help get the lay of the land, that was the front door. Behind us is the kitchen and that first garage, the first two car garage. So the garages are four in total, but two individually. So we got two separate garages in here. That one coming right off of the kitchen, Ken and I both agree that's probably the one where you're going to want to park your everyday cars because you can just bring the kids in, bring the groceries in, and you've got your pantry right there, your mud bay and your kitchen. So that's probably going to be the side of the house you use for your normal day-to-day -day living. We still haven't shown you what's down here, so you are not going to understand quite yet why the other garage and the other landing of this house is a really big deal. So you get to see the master bedroom right now. Spoiled. Lucky, lucky. Okay, this is awesome. Artwork, family photos, whatever you want here. We've got a smart thermostat, which is really wonderful these days. Big, heavy doors, eight foot at least high doors, right? Yep. At least. Yep. At least 10 foot ceilings. I don't know. Let's not show them the master bath quite yet. We'll peek right here at the bedroom. Check out all of the natural light. I wish you guys could feel the temperature and how it increased when I walked in here. It is so warm because of the sun beating through these windows. And what you see behind this privacy fence are the tops of the trees in the fall and those big, beautiful skies. Ken Sun calls those clouds Toy Story clouds. I think that is the cutest thing ever. And then right here, you've got your own access point to that covered back patio so you're gonna have to let us know if you buy this house would you put a jacuzzi right out here i appreciate this this one is i can reach it all the way a lot of them i cannot reach it but this one i can and they also have it from the bottom up check that out and you can go like that that's fancy 
Yeah, so you can have it closed, but also open at the same time, see? Let that the light in, but still have your privacy. I'm really into stuff like that. The carpet, by the way, very soft, very cushiony. If you put the Toy Story clouds in the floor, this is what it would feel like. Ooh. Yeah. Can we show them that? Oh, show them. Go up. Ceiling fan. Ceiling fan. Ceiling fan. So fan. excited. That's a really pretty ceiling it fan. It is. It reminds me of like a carved wood airplane with the wood propellers. It's That's exactly very what I pretty. Was really? Yep. Tray ceiling, shiplap up above. You've got the lights up in there. Not everyone puts all enough lights in their homes and it's very pricey to go in after and install those. Very happy they did that. Okay. Very excited for this bathroom. Yeah. Morning. Oh my gosh. And I just I have to reiterate. This is just how the house comes, right? With this all this ship lap and comes. stuff. This is not a model home. This is the house that you get when you give us a call, shoot us a text, or write us an email. If you didn't know, we're the number one relocation team here in the Treasure Valley, Idaho. It is what we specialize in. Both Ken and I relocated here. Ken relocated directly from California. I was the one who went from California to Washington to Atlanta, Georgia to here. It took me a little bit longer, but I got here and I am never leaving. I will say I have lived in downtown Boise, Star, downtown Eagle, and now like the edge of Eagle and Meridian. And we've helped relocate so many families. I have a pretty good idea of what it's like to live everywhere in the Frederick Valley. Okay, right away behind the door, we've got all of this storage. And again, everything's wrapped in gray gray on the baseboard all the way around the doors this is so pretty they put the the arched mirror and then they put the light fixtures right above this is also so cool right here where they have the standalone tub they wrapped it with gray shiplap and it carries all the way through over to the shower right here above your tub we've got this privacy window it is nice and big and it lets all the light in very happy that they did that check this shower out already wrapped in glass for you another corner that many of the builders like to cut is not putting the glass in and you'll notice all around the tile we've got these metal finishes this is another feature that you would typically find in more custom semi-custom homes a lot of the mass builders do not do this it's costly and it just takes a little bit higher end of a contractor to put it in. Higher end of a contractor, a more skilled contractor. Cause you gotta be spot on to do that. Bathroom, nice and big for people with long legs. Just kidding. Okay, <laughs> so this toilet is nice and easy to clean and it's a nice height. It, your knees are bent when you're using the restroom. I think that is very important and I am all about that toilet. That's a good toilet. <laughs> Here we also have a pocket door, which is really oh, great. Yeah. It keeps all of this room and all of the room in there free. So you got all your space. Big old beautiful closet with all of the built-ins. And again, like I said earlier, if you could put the Toy Story clouds in the carpet, this is what they would feel like. So I learned recently that Ken has more shoes than his wife. The word I'm searching for, I can't say because there's preschool toys present. So he would use more of that shelf space than his wife would. That is true, that is true. Something you guys might not know is my husband has more clothes than me by like a landslide. So he would use more of the closet space too. Okay, let's go down the other wing of this house before we show you the super feature at the very end, because it is something very hard to come across that many, many people, especially people who, I'm gonna give them a hint right now, many people who work from home would absolutely love, or many people who have older teens or college age kids or parents living with them would really, really like at the end of this house. Very, very fancy. But first, I'm gonna show you the closet. <laughs> storage, lots of storage. I'm all about storage. This bathroom, which would be very important to go with the super feature down at the other end of this, is beautiful. 
look at this tile all the way up and down the back wall. Again, another very easy to clean, very appropriately situated, heighted. <laughs> what? I wanted to say very height it, very appropriately heighted toilet. But then we'll just say it's English. the right height. It's the right height toilet. And it has to, a window for you too, Rachel. I was trying to. Oh, windows are so important. She gets so excited. I get him. I get excited. You guys, this is a guest bathroom. I want my guests to be comfortable doing everything they need to do in the bathroom. And how, how embarrassing if there's no window. <laughs> to open. You know what I mean? Yeah. Very, very tall mirror. So you can really stand back and like see your whole outfit. They put that adorable sink up top there and a very, very cute faucet. And there's little cubbies for your toilet paper rolls. I like that little bathroom. Look how long this hall is. It's like the grand, it is. grand hall. Boom, right here, bedroom. And this is the, this is my, I'll say my foo pa about the house. While I like how much light this puts off, I would rather have a ceiling fan. So if it were me, put the ceiling fan in the room. But check out these big double closet doors with the built-ins, three spots to hang up clothes, lots of shelf space, beautiful, beautiful, the cushiony, oh, very, very soft carpet. Okay, back down the hall, back down the hall all of these windows to light up this long hallway. This hallway is perfect for putting like all of your kids' photos throughout the years, you know, with all the different grades or just, it's a, it's a good hallway. I like this hallway. This is super cute. That was what Ken said when he saw it, just so you guys know. He said, look how cute this closet is. I use the word cute, I do. He does. Manly men use the word cute, I'm gonna say. <laughs> Come on in to this bathroom, double sinks so you can have two people getting ready at once, lots of drawers, lots of cabinet space. I'm gonna let Ken pass me so he can go show you guys the fully tiled all the way to the ceiling shower with a little window to let all the steam out, very deep bathtub, another great toilet for privacy. This is a great bathroom. We can't show them this yet. I gotta shut the door. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. All right, Come you're, on you're in. in. The clear. You're in the clear. Okay. Door closed. Can't show you this. Can't show you that because then you're gonna understand what this what this is all about over okay. here. Gotta wait. Okay, another bedroom just like the other one, which I don't know if you guys have noticed lately, but whenever we're doing home tours, they always have one of the rooms with like a really great closet and the other one with just kind of an okay closet. I don't know, I wouldn't want my kids to feel like, I don't know, I just like the equalness. Let me explain what is happening at this end of the house. At this end of the house, we have another garage. So you would come in through this door, okay? It has its own entry out here in this room. So this room, let's pop the camera straight up very high ceilings. I'm thinking 14 feet probably yeah. in here, Easy. at least. Easy. Come on in here. We've got a window looking out front, a slider leading to the courtyard. I just realized I left my purse out front. Oh. Yeah, I just realized I left my purse out front, but I'm not worried about it. You guys want to know why? This wasn't a setup. This really is impromptu. I can't believe I left my purse out there. We leave our cars with all of our camera gear out there unlocked and i'm not worried about my purse sitting out front because this is a very very safe community i don't recommend doing that but not super worried about it anyway let's get back to how amazing this is if you are somebody who needs a office space with its own entry because you need let's say you're an attorney or you're an interior designer or whatever it is, you need clients coming in and out. Maybe you're a therapist. They have their own entry into the house. You can see them pulling up. This is set off here. There's a courtyard out front that you can decorate so beautifully. Or if you have elderly parents or a college age kid, they would have their own wing down here. And it's very separate from all of the noise in the rest of the house. We get people calling for this type of feature literally at least at least a few times a week. 
this house has it and you're not gonna believe the price of this house so and they put a ceiling fan in this one and the extra lights let's pop over this way so front door we went to the right past the living room and then there was the master the long hall okay we came down you got your separate office separate like generational suite over here the two bathrooms in this hallway here is the other garage so this is the other two car garage and this is the one where we think you would store more toys or your christmas and easter and fall decor this is the perfect spot for all of the extras right it is fully finished has tons of windows and natural light they also installed this other light up above and dun, 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 dun. we cannot keep you waiting any longer for ken's super favorite feature. feature we haven't told you yet how big this yard is it's a 0.3 acre lot okay big old lot and ken likes big old lots because he likes big old slabs and he cannot lie <laughs> <laughs> look at this guys i'm just gonna run this way it's a pad for all of your stuff it's an rv bay and then all the rocks so you can put your side by sides and your razors your golf carts whatever it is i promise you if you move here and you're even slightly interested in getting out and after it and traveling or taking on the big outdoors you're gonna love this or you're gonna want to put your boxes for your garden right there whatever it is this slab is already in and you're looking at at least 10 grand at least 10 grand there's a hose bib this privacy fence opens up so you can very easily pull it in i would rather have this personally than an rv bay because something about me that you guys don't know yet is i can't even parallel park <laughs> So <laughs> my new car, I, I have parallel park. It's like been like this far off of the sidewalk. So I'm getting closer, but I would be able to just pull an RV right into here. No problems. I wouldn't feel nervous about hitting the side of the house. Okay, this house is so pretty. And then right out that way, you can see the foothills. It is so beautiful. And in this community, they put the downturn street lights. You're on a cul-de-sac. This house is so, so pretty. Look at the lights out here on front of the garage. So this is the front of the house. You got this big window with these epic lights. They did not skimp on the landscaping for this house. There are so many trees and bushes and flowers, big, pretty rocks. This house is so pretty. We got to walk this way so you can see what it looks like down here. So the garage is still open, guys. Let me run and shut the garage for you. So we're gonna come. We're gonna go through the courtyard though, so they can see it and feel yes, it, right? Yes, we're gonna go I in the courtyard, it. but they gotta see what the house looks like with the garage closed. Okay, now we have both garages closed, so we can truly show you how beautiful this home is. Single level living, four car garage, plenty of room, a separate entry into an office space or generational living, and you've got this a beautiful courtyard where you can set up a outdoor living space and just still have all the privacy. It is so pretty. Look at this, boom, all the way up, this very high vaulted ceiling, pretty stone. This house is a winner. And it it's even a winner. comes with a free purse. And it comes with a free purse <laughs> if you get it before we're done filming. <laughs> I'm gonna get my purse and we're gonna go inside and chat about the price of this home, the community, a little bit about the builder. Let's talk shop because you're not going to wanna miss your opportunity on this community or this home. Let's talk about Star Idaho before we dive into the price of this house. You are going to be shocked. So this sweet little pocket of Star Idaho feels like you're in a very small community surrounded by farm country, God's country, big beautiful skies, foothills all around, plenty of outdoor activities like hiking, biking, walking trails for miles, all of the outdoor community events you could ever imagine. You name it, Star Idaho is what you imagine Idaho to be when you're thinking of relocating here. I myself have lived in Star Idaho 
video guy Ken currently resides here. I find myself here quite a bit eating out, attending the 4th of July parade. So every year, 4th of July in Star Idaho is the place to be for all of the Treasure Valley. It's like a week long celebration. If you come to Star Idaho, you better be patriotic or I promise you are not going to fit in and you're not gonna feel comfortable. And most people probably wouldn't feel comfortable having you here either. So everyone comes to Star Idaho for the 4th of July celebration. It's a big, beautiful firework extravaganza. The mayor prays for our town and our nation, the state. And while I'm talking about the mayor of Star Idaho, he is so accessible. If you call him, his secretary takes a message and guess who calls you back? The mayor of Star. He's wonderful. I've talked with him many times and he's just a very down to earth, sensible, constitution loving guy. This community supports our police and all of our first responders. It's wonderful. All the little boys look up to him like superheroes. Um, Ken is retired law enforcement back here and I think he's a superhero. Aww. Leave a comment below thanking Ken for his service guys because he deserves it. Thank you. This community is amazing. We already went over the new park sports complex that's going in, but we haven't gotten into the details about the golf course that's like a couple blocks from here. So here in Star Idaho, golf is a big deal. Everyone loves to be outside. We have four mild seasons and we have one of the latest sunsets in the nation, the third latest, which means there is twilight golf and you can twilight golf until 11 p.m. some nights of the year. It is amazing. It's actually less expensive. So imagine this, let's say you're not retired yet and you spend your whole day working. You can eat dinner, put the kids to bed and then go golf. I mean, if you're a golfer, your, your wife's not going to say no to that. The other thing you can do in the evening here is ski. We are close enough to Bogus Basin and they have night skiing that you can finish up your day, wrap it up and go hit the slopes at night and you can see the entire valley all lit up it is so amazing and so beautiful the same slopes are open in the summer and you can go look at butterflies and hike and they have a really cool little roller coaster up there i mean it is so cool right across the way is blm land and blm land that's the people's land you can Take your side-by-sides out and go off-roading. You can go shooting. You can go hunting. It is so beautiful. God's country. I'm telling you, God has a special place in his heart for the Treasure Valley, Idaho, but especially here in Star, Idaho. Another great thing about living in Star, aside from all of the little local-owned restaurants and shops and all of the great community members, is the prices. So here in Star, Idaho, we're situated right next to Eagle, Idaho. Eagle, Idaho is kind of the creme de la creme when it comes to big, beautiful houses and lots and lots of land, but you pay a pretty penny. This part of Star, Star Idaho, we had to look before we came to make sure we were actually in Star. That's how close we are to Eagle. So you're going to spend three to $500,000 less on a house the same house if it were in Eagle. But the other crazy thing about this house is right across the street, there's a home for several hundred thousand dollars more. So this house itself is a few hundred thousand dollars less than that, plus hundreds of thousand dollars less than living in Eagle. So you get this amazing property on 0.3 acres. You have a spot to park your RV, which is a really big deal because here, if you have toys, Unless you're buying a house with a spot to park, you're not going to have a lot of success finding a place to park your RV. You have to rent, and a lot of times people are going to other suburbs out to rent, which isn't fun, right? Uh, you've got that separate entry with those very high ceilings in the office room or bedroom, whatever you want to make it. That's a very unique feature, and... I can see many, many ways that you would be able to utilize that. You truly can have a separate office that's very separate from the rest of the house and the rest of the living. Thermador, cooktop, all of this custom wood, cabinetry, beautiful island, 
beautiful wood wrapped fireplace, like all of the things, right? Let's dive into the actual stats and numbers. You guys are going to be blown away. Okay. Three bed, two and a half bath, 2,500, 2,595 square feet, 0.303 acre lot. Drum roll. The price of this house is $894,900 and you get everything, the fence, the landscaping, all of it, not the furniture or the artwork. I mean, hey, we're pretty good negotiators. So if you give us a call, shoot us a text, write us a message, maybe we could negotiate some furnishes. I don't know, but we're the number one relocation team. If this isn't the house or the community for you, I promise we can find one. For more information, check out this video. And until the next time, be blessed.